chance I can put my appropriate weights on on there? Fuck's sake. I'm on the slide instead. Look on there. Hello, cerebral palsy. Busters? Do you want to take us for lunch? I need a drink. I don't know if I can. They run kind of a tight ship here. Nothing happens in charity shops. Just ask them if you can pop to Greg's for a pink sausage roll. Well, I had Greg's for breakfast. What? You had breakfast at home? Yeah, but then I, you know, I passed one, so... Just ask them. Okay, Jesus. Hang on. Sorry. Um, uh, excuse me. Hi, um, that's my wife on the phone, and she's wondering when my lunch hour is, because um, she's on her own with the kids. Oh, we don't take a lunch break. We just bring sandwiches in, in case there's a lunchtime rush. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not happening. Listen, why don't you take the kids somewhere nice for lunch, you know, treat yourself. Yeah, okay. Because as we both know, lunch somewhere nice with two loud, dirty children under the age of four is a real fucking treat. See you at home. I have my AA meeting tonight. Again? Well, I mean, you don't really graduate from alcoholism. So I'm supposed to watch Game of Thrones on my own, like a pervert. Well, I... Fine. If anything designer gets donated by mistake, put it aside for me, OK? Bye. Have you thought about a bit of therapy? Yeah, I mean, we thought about it, but we don't really want to hear our terrible problems out loud. Chris always liking therapy to taking a shit. It's better to do it in the therapist's office and stink up your own home. <laughs> I can only shit at home. Well, whatever works for you. Can't be easy being married as a criminal. Where's Geoffrey today? He's moved out. Moved in with Chris. Turned down a role in a Vin Diesel movie to do Twelfth Night at the theatre. God, that's rough. I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> it would fell out. But I'm quite happy on my own in my bachelorette pad. <laughs> I haven't put a bra on before 4 p.m. all week. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Rob, right? Hi, thank you. Oh, oh, finish your biscuits. <laughs> Just uh, wanted to say that I realised while you were sharing about your accident that I was there on Red Church Street. I was actually there that night. You were there? Yeah. I'm so relieved you're OK. <laughs> I'm not telling you this to make you feel bad, but um, I had to go to the hospital too that night. I got uh, some of your windscreen in my leg, some glass splintered and cut me, if you can believe it. <laughs> oh, I had no idea anyone... I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just glad you found your way here. A lot of people don't. For me, it was losing my husband. He died five years ago next week. I was blacked out, as usual. They think I probably knocked over a candle. They got me out, the firemen, but they didn't reach him in time. Oh, God. Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, love. Oh, yeah, and you said in your share that you've been listening to a lot of radio ahead. <laughs> Trying to get better, okay. Not wank off to your little man feelings. See you next week. <laughs>